Dear colleagues, it's my pleasure to open the last session of the International Conference of Automatics 2022. Uh, I propose the rule for the presentations to be up to 12 minutes and then some minutes for questions, if there are such. Our first presenter will be Tony Pandelova. Tony, the floor is yours. Thank you. Dear colleague, let me introduce to you uh, system for monitoring and analysis of environmental data. In the monitoring of basic parameters of the working environment, in certain norms play a key role in the normal work process. Permissible value and limits of change of relevant indicators are regulated in various laws and regulations. In our country, uh, the permissible values of parameters such as particulate matter, uh, level of lighting and uh, temperature are set in Atmospheric Air Purity Act, ordinance number 49 on artificial lighting of buildings and ordinance number RD73 about minimum requirements for the microclimate in the workplace. Main factors that influence health when working indoors are uh, lighting, temperature, clean air, it means uh, dust pollution, and uh, this is uh, determined the purpose of our report to develop a system for monitoring of environment to provide real-time information on the condition of the air in the workplace. The developed system includes three main blocks or units, uh, use sensor, use platforms, and a web server. And the main part of this system is the sensor units, which uh, consist three sensors. First sensor is for measurement of concentration of the particulate matter. We used uh, NOAA is the O11 sensor, which is a laser sensor. Uh, it works on laser scattering principle. And uh, the main advantage of this sensor is uh, building large uh, fan. The second sensor is for measuring of illuminance. Uh, we use MAX 44009. Uh, this is a light sensor which integrated LED and ADC with a digital interface. Thanks to this digital interface, this uh, sensor is appropriate to use in many mobile applications. And the second one, the third one, is a sensor for measurement of temperature. We use the s 18 b 12 sensor. Uh, this sensor uh, s measures the temperature in Celsius degree, which is an uh, advantage for us because in Bulgaria we measure temperature in Celsius degree. Here you can see these three sensors, NOVA sensor for particulate matter. Uh, this sensor can, uh, can make difference between PM10 and PM2.5. Here is the light sensor and temperature sensor. And here is the measuring measurement system. Uh, <coughs> after setting up the system, it means uh, reading data from the sensor, processing and visualization of uh, results. Uh, we conduct a series of experiments. Uh, the real experiment was made in an uh, office room, and the sensor units of the system was placed on the work desk. Uh, the, the measurement was uh, performed for about one hour, and the, the received results are present in graphical forms. Here on this figure you can see the concentration of particulate matter in the office. Uh, here th there is a two line, green and pink, because this sensor makes distinguishes between PM10 and PM2.5. The green line presents the concentration of PM10 and the pink line presents the concentration of PM2. This straight line here set the limits of the uh, concentration of PM 2.5. Above these limits there is a pollution with particulate matter. 
On this graph, you can see the level of lighting in the office room. Accord the coordinates number LD7073. Uh, the normal uh, value of the lighting is about 300 lux, but uh, values of um, lighting above 200 lux is okay for the workers. So this line here, the first straight line in uh, black, present the limits of 200 lux. Above this uh, line, the lighting in the office is okay. This peak here is due to daylight after the artificial dye of the room and switching on the electrical lighting. Uh, we have already a good level of illumination without any variation. And on the last uh, figure, we can see the measured temperature in the office. Uh, advantage of this sensor that we use uh, for measuring of the temperature that uh, we can set uh, two limits of temperature according to our ordinance we put this limit 21 Celsius degree and 24 Celsius degree here in this office the temperature was controlled by air conditioning system and we can see the temperature is uh, slightly lower than the normal one, but it's not a problem because we can increase it whenever we want this temperature by the help of uh, air conditioning system. After the experiments and the analysis of the receiving data, we can say that the system is suitable for continuous monitoring of particular matter, lighting and temperature in work and office premises. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, uh, Tony. Uh, now, if anyone has any questions for Tony, I, I have one, in fact. I was curious, because all those measurements were taken like together for yes. temperature, for pollution, and yes. for the light, for illumination, sorry. And I was wondering how many, you said that you, uh, you placed the sensor uh, in an desk. office. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, how many people were there in that uh, in that office? Two how people. There were only two. Them and them how big is the space? Like in square meters, more uh, or less, of course. About twenty-five squares. Twenty-five Most square times. meters yes. for two persons. And we measure. Uh, and we put the system only on one desk because uh, we want yeah, to think. see if this. Uh, yeah, it doesn't make work. sense to measure like every desk. More, but I was it wondering have a sense oh. because we have, to, uh, according to our legislation, we have to measure lights on every workplace in the in the room. If there is uh, ten workplace, we have to measure lights, especially okay. in every place. Ten times we have to measure. But this is only for illumination or for yes, pollution. Yes, for illumination. Yes. And uh, just to prolong my question, um, was uh, yeah. <coughs> The measurements were done during daytime, so on the yes, graph. Yes, afternoon. Yeah, was it, what was the season? Because we know that, for example, the pollution or even the daylight is like, <coughs> sorry, is like uh, lighter in summer, but darker. The, the measurement was made in spring. In spring. Yeah. I mean, do you expect those measurements to show like higher pollution during the, the winter? Mm, no, no. Because, because in office there is air condition, there is a ventilation, and the air in the in the space in the office is uh, is clear. But except. <coughs> and what is the error of the sensor? Sorry. The error of the sensor. Uh, they have different error. The sensor Nova SD has a plus minus but not 15 percent. Temperature was about. 1% and temperature uh, sensor for light, I think 5% error. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Yes, Associate mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I passed to the beginning of your presentation. No um, uh, do you formulate? some uh, control task, how 
do you control the temperature, the illumination in this room? Yes, you, you, the, the you passed down outside my outside uh, temperature, depending on the number of uh, people in this room and the there, season, there are there are many disturbances. Yes, I yes, How do you control these three output variables? We use these uh, standards and ordinals because in Bulgaria there is a strong regulation about it these norms, temperature, uh, humidity, spoon speed, particulate matter, uh, and light. And according to this ordinance, we make a decision about the work of our system. If the received results are in these limits, set by these standards, we, uh, we, take, uh, that, uh, we think that the system is work appropriate. Okay, but uh, we, we don't solve any control problems in this case. No, we create it. As long as I understood her presentation, uh, her presentation is about the, the measurements and how yes. to correctly do the measurements. Okay. And more and like focus stage, on the type of sensors. the second stage. Will yes. Be so <laughs> kind of she Is will create the problem for you. For yes. you. For you. <laughs> for because yes. you are in the faculty yeah. for the market. For us, in <laughs> fact, yes. So she, she focuses on these particular kind of sensors uh, and if they can be used mm -hmm. to follow those regulations. Yes. Any other questions? Okay, thank you, Tony. Okay, our next presenter is Stuyan Kirillov. Stuyan, the floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, dear all, uh, hello everybody, nice to meet you. I want to present for you uh, our paper, a metal oxide and restore based uh, oscillators and filters. Uh, sorry for the Uh, the presentation contains uh, the motivation, uh, <coughs> the basics of uh, memristors and their modeling, uh, the proposed memristor model, uh, its uh, LT spice uh, realization and analysis, uh, uh, several analog circuits uh, in LT spice, and the conclusion. Uh, the motivation is related to a partial deficit of uh, general and uh, simple metal oxide memristor models also to analyze uh, of, uh, filters and generators uh, in LT spice using memristors and uh, uh, the conclusion. Uh, in figure one is presented a simplified structure of uh, semiconductor memristor. It is uh, with two electrodes, a node and cathode, uh, and uh, the dot region is uh, saturated by oxygen vacancies. Uh, the other is uh, pure uh, titanium dioxide. Here uh, is presented uh, the simplified, uh, uh, sorry, the simplified model. Uh, formula number one is a state variable. Uh, form formula two expresses uh, the current voltage uh, relationship uh, dependent on the state. And uh, equation three uh, contains uh, the state differential equation, uh, which is dependent on the current and uh, on the applied window function F. Uh, and uh, um, Formula 5 express uh, one of the very used uh, leptonian wifi memory store model. Uh, here is uh, presented uh, our modified uh, model. Uh, the first uh, equation is a simplified one uh, and uh, relates the current and the voltage. Uh, the next uh, uh, express the time derivative of the state variable uh, when the voltage is lower than the activation threshold. and. Uh, the next is uh, for voltage higher than this. Uh, the difference is uh, that if the voltage is lower than the activation threshold, uh, then the resistor behaves as a linear uh, simple resistor. Uh, equation 7 explains the biolic uh, modified window function. And uh, also, uh, here is presented uh, a modified version of the step uh, heavy side function, which is a flatted uh, differential and uh, very applicable in LT spice. Here are presented the time diagrams uh, of the voltage, uh, the currents, and the state variable according to several different models. And uh, in this case, 
their behavior is very similar because uh, they operate in a soft switching mode where the state variable does not uh, reach the boundaries. Uh, here is presented uh, the LT Spice uh, schematic uh, of the memristor. Uh, the capacitor is used for integration of the current of the dependence of G2, uh, which is proportional to the time derivative of the state variable. And the potential uh, Y uh, is proportional to the state variable. Uh, the current uh, of the source G1 is the memristor current, and uh, R1 is uh, placed for a partial avoidance of uh, convergence problems. In figure 5 uh, is presented uh, the proposed model included in a simple circuit for analyzing uh, the behavior of the memristor in sinusoidal mode, and uh, the source B1 uh, is uh, used for obtaining the flux, uh, the time integral of the voltage. Here are presented several current voltage uh, characteristics at different frequencies and uh, it is interesting that uh, with increasing the frequency then uh, uh, the area of the pinch catharsis uh, loop uh, shrinks and uh, this is one of the main fingerprints of the memristor elements. Uh, in the right hand side uh, is presented the LT spice uh, code uh, of the memristor and uh, it could be used uh, for generation uh, memristor models in uh, other SPICE products uh, as uh, H-SPICE uh, or CAD spice and others. Here is presented a simple uh, generator based on memristors. Uh, it uses uh, phase shifting groups uh, uh, by the capacitors C1 to C3 and uh, the respective uh, memristors. Uh, the time diagram of the output voltage is presented in the right uh, hand side. Uh, here uh, are shown two uh, filters based on memristors. In the working mode, uh, the input voltage is lower than the activation threshold, so the memristor behaves as a linear resistor, and uh, the cutoff frequencies uh, are determined using uh, the capacitance and uh, the memristance. If uh, we need to change the characteristics, uh, then uh, we use uh, external voltage process uh, to change the state of the memristor elements. Uh, finally, it could be concluded that the proposed model is uh, simplified according to the standard models. Uh, also, its uh, LT spice analysis confirms uh, its proper operation and uh, application in analog uh, devices. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Stuyan. Uh, any questions from the audience? I didn't quite get what uh, you said that improved. Can you see? Can I see the conclusions, please? Yes. Uh, it improved the like the basic model, but does it improve the quality or? What, what exactly is important? Yeah, yeah, thank you for your question. Um, the main uh, difference between the proposed model and uh, the standard models uh, is that uh, uh, according to the electronic LICO standard model, Formula 5, uh, it is a very complex uh, model and uh, includes many elementary mathematical operations and is hard for uh, spice realization. Uh, our modified model includes uh, a simplified version of the current voltage uh, relationship and also uh, the activation threshold allow the, the model to operate in different uh, modes uh, as a linear resistor and as a normal memory element. This Which is, is not typical for the standard model. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. The, the, the original, Biolic and Electronin, does not include uh, this activation uh, mm -hmm. threshold. They are, they are not included. I have a question. <coughs> Actually, uh, you have a first uh, order dynamical model, nonlinear model, and uh, X is the resistance. <coughs> the state variable, yeah. The state variable, yes. And so the input is the voltage or current? Uh, the input is the voltage. The voltage. The, inputs, uh, the input is the so voltage. Uh, yes, yes, uh, the input uh, here also uh, for the ionic and, and the, the output is, uh, variable uh, is the current in this is case. Is the current. Yeah. 
Yeah. Although yeah. it is possible to use the current as a basic variable and to mm -hmm. obtain the law. Yes. And uh, how do you implement this uh, nonlinear model? You have a nonlinear function, uh, hyperbolic uh, sinus function. How do you implement this nonlinear model? Uh, we uh, implement it uh, in Neoti Spice uh, using the standard uh, blocks uh, and uh, the current uh, of the voltage of the source uh, G2 is uh, proportional to, to uh, the current uh, experienced by Formula 6 uh, where uh, uh, V is the voltage between the top and the bottom electrode, uh, K1 and K2 are, are coefficients and uh, X, uh, X is the potential of the electrode uh, Y. Uh, uh, which is uh, produced by integration by the capacitor C1. Uh, and do we have more questions related to that presentation? Okay, let's go directly to the next one. Uh, which Stuyan will present on behalf of, he, of his colleague. But I think that the topics are related. We well, are yeah, very, very uh, close uh, one to another, but uh, there are little bit differences. <coughs> so I will pay attention only on the differences and uh, I will try to avoid the repeating uh, components. Colleagues, uh, the next uh, um, model uh, is uh, for a modified uh, metal oxide uh, memory store uh, for uh, analog filters. Uh, the motivation is very similar to the previous one. Uh, here uh, the difference uh, is that uh, the model uh, is based on a parallel connection of two nonlinear uh, resistors uh, in difference to the previous one where uh, we use a series connection. Uh, this uh, is expressed by formula 2 and the uh, state variable here is uh, the ratio between the internal uh, area of the channel uh, A1 and uh, the whole uh, area of the resistor A2. Uh, the current is proportional to the conductance of this uh, connection and uh, uh, when you apply a positive voltage uh, then the internal uh, channel, uh, the, the area uh, increases. Uh, then uh, the proposed model uh, contains uh, also activation thresholds uh, in Formula 5 uh, and uh, here uh, the third equation is uh, a simplified version of the electronic LIFO model and also uh, the applied window function is uh, the standard uh, Yogliker uh, function which is uh, simple for realization in LT spice uh, uh, according to Biolic and uh, the other uh, complex functions. The results are uh, similar, but uh, in this uh, case uh, mm, the main idea is uh, not uh, so the switching in the memory properties, properties uh, but uh, the change of the conductance of the element uh, by external voltage process. And uh, in this case uh, uh, also the, the retaining of the resistance is uh, important uh, uh, according to the operating uh, mode of the analog devices. Here is presented uh, the model included uh, in a simple circuit and uh, the respective uh, LTSPICE uh, code. Uh, here uh, also the behavior of the memory star. The first uh, figure 5A is for a hard switching mode. Uh, then the state variable uh, reaches the boundary values uh, 0 and unity. And uh, the other two are for soft switching mode and with increasing the frequency again uh, the behavior confirms the proper operation of the model for a very high uh, frequency uh, the current voltage characteristic is uh, a straight line uh, here are presented two uh, simple schematics of uh, analog filters uh, respectively low pass filter and high pass filter in the operating uh, mode uh, the input voltage is lower than the activation threshold and uh, uh, M1 and M2 are constant uh, resistances and the change of the amplitude frequency and uh, phase frequency responses uh, are changed by external voltage process uh, with a level higher than the activation threshold. 
And uh, um, the conclusion is very similar to the previous one, application mainly in uh, the configurable uh, devices as filters, generators, and uh, other types. Thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you, Stuyan. Any questions? Uh, I was wondering, and I, that was a question that I wanted to ask during your uh, previous presentation, but now you reminded me. Uh, I was wondering, uh, sorry about my incompetence with the uh, memory stores, but what is the normal frequency range of those devices? I mean, normal maybe is not the accurate word for that, but like usable range yeah. when they're typically used. Uh, thank you for your question. Uh, according to references uh, in the last uh, several years, uh, the semiconductor emitters uh, operate in uh, frequencies between about uh, 10 megahertz and uh, 1 or 2 gigahertz. In this because uh, here, sorry to interrupt you, but here we saw experiments from 400 uh, hertz to yeah, 40 yeah, kilohertz. Very low frequency, but uh, it is only an example of how to, how to um, apply these uh, devices in analog uh, filters, but uh, mm -hmm. in memory devices, in neural networks, uh, the operating mode is uh, with very high frequencies and uh, pulse mode, uh, and in this mode uh, the state variable have to be changed between 0 and 1, uh, so the, the memory resistance, the resistance uh, could be changed between the two uh, on-switch and uh, off-switch uh, states. Okay, so uh, your work here is related to their application in yes, electrical uh, circuits. Yeah, and the simple modification, really. The purpose is to implement in SPICE, P-SPICE, LT spice uh, almost without uh, convergence problems, because uh, if you have a circuit containing 15 resistors, uh, then... Yeah, because in the previous years when your colleagues uh, presented the application of memory stores, they really spoke about uh, neural networks and their application there, and that's why I was wondering. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions?